than 1,700 people in a Cameroonian village died overnight in the 80s, and for a while, no one knew why. Now, it could happen again, except this time, millions are at risk. In August 1986, a man was biking to a village in Cameroon when he noticed a dead antelope. He soon spotted more and more dead animals everywhere, even a ton of insects had died. He eventually arrived at Nios and hoped to figure out what had happened. Instead, he found that everyone there was dead too. The weirdest part? There were no signs whatsoever as to what had caused the deaths. Scientists from all over flocked to Cameroon to figure out the mystery. Eventually, they discovered that a nearby volcanic crater lake named Lake Nios basically exploded. Carbon dioxide and methane accumulated in the lake and researchers surmised that something like a landslide into the lake or an eruption underneath it triggered the release of deadly gas that killed everything in its path. There are only a handful of lakes in the world that have this unique ability to erupt. Another one is Lake Kivu, which sits on the border between Rwanda and the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The thing is, not only is Lake Kivu 50 times as long as Lake Niles and more than twice as deep, but it has millions of people living nearby. Many scientists are worried that it's basically a ticking time bomb. To try and prevent a potential disaster, the Rwandan government authorized a company to extract methane from Lake Kivu and convert it into energy to power the country. However, some say that this method of removing methane will actually disturb the lake and cause the very eruption that is trying to stop. Others have suggested that diluting the methane in the lake would be safer, though it would end up being more expensive and make extraction harder in the long run. Scientists can't even agree on basic facts about Lake Kivu, like the source of the gas or whether it's erupted before. With so much disagreement, it's difficult to decide what the best course of action is. And even if extracting the methane doesn't disturb the lake, it won't entirely eliminate the threat and could create a false sense of security. A number of other things could trigger Kivu too. An earthquake, lava intrusion, and changes in climate are all risks. If Kivu does erupt, it could very well be one of the deadliest recorded natural disasters in history.